Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back. Today's video, I wanted to do a fall look. I just felt inspired by the cool weather. So, I pulled out a couple of palettes and <clears throat> I pulled out my Too Faced Pumpkin Spice from, I think this was last year, and then I pulled out this Juvia's Place, The Nomad, that I got from Ash at Make Makeup and Chaos. That's beautiful. You know what? I think I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to go in with this first. So, I hope you stick around and watch this video. Let me get my eyeballs primed and the rest of my skin. I'm gonna start my prime with the Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. Now, I'm almost out of this. I'm trying to finish using, I'm going to try to finish using it up so I can be done with it. I've had it for a while. It still smells okay, but I haven't seen it in store, so I don't know if they still sell this one. It's it's in pink. The writing's in pink. I've seen other Revlon primers. Okay, so we got the face primed. Now, where is my eye primer? Here it is. You know what? I'm on. Go in with my concealer that I've been using for all my painted pinks, and it's been working fine. So, well, if I can open it, which is the essence camouflage. And it has, it really has been working well for me. So I'm going to continue to use it. I hope everyone is having a beautiful week. Hopefully, this is the last week of my husband's shutdown. It has been nice. Great break. It has been nice. Being able to get things done, however, do miss him. I'm just gonna take some of this powder pressed powder and pop it on. I would actually, this powder, I was going to declutter, but for some reason I still had it in my drawer and I reached for it to do just what I did and I really liked it again. So I got the hard pan off of it. Works fine now. Now, hmm, I got all my brushes clean from Paint It Pink. Y'all, whew, that was a job. I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with the shade first. It's a beautiful shade. I normally do not gravitate <clears throat> toward these kind of colors, so this is going to be interesting. Very interesting to see 
what I come up with. Mm, I'm gonna start with this eye. I have played with some of the Juvia's Place in um, the this palette. The this is the festival. Those pinks, or that pink, I've I've played with all of these. I, I don't. It wasn't on camera. And then in another video, I think I did pull that color into a look. And this is the Warrior too. So, and I, I really enjoy so far these palettes. And this formula. I didn't. These are the only three Juvia's that I have. And I'm, I, I'm very, very, very happy that Ash sent them to me. Because I am loving. Kind of going out of my comfort zone, so to speak. What I normally gravitate to um browns um pinks that type of thing I, i'm enjoying expanding now i'm going to go in with this brown right there and then i'm going to deepen it with these two. So, let me grab a smaller brush and do just that. There's just, there's no kick up on these. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that, that combination is beautiful. And it's, it's like they're effortless, like they blend themselves. I don't have to spend a lot of time trying to make it work. They just, they just work, man, I like that. All right, now let's go in to this deeper. Let me get even a smaller brush. Because I think, yeah, I'm going to use this one first. see if that will give me what I want. So far, so good. I have still not got a stove yet and to say I am pissed is an understatement but I know hubby's working hard I think instead of the dark brown I think I'm gonna go in with this really pretty green that green's really pretty. Just kind of tap it a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's he's just working 
so much that, I mean, we've been getting by. We're, we're not, it's just us two. We're not big um, dinner people. You know, since I had the weight loss surgery, it's it's fine because a lot of times he wouldn't eat dinner anyway. If I cook dinner, um, we would usually have it the next day for lunch or he would take it to work. But um, I'm going to go back in with a mix of these two to blend out that green. Um, but, so we're, we're really not going without, per se. Still have my air fryer, crock pot, um, pressure cooker, and I even have a, um, just a single burner that we take when we go camping. So, I'm able to cook. I'm just not cooking four-course meals. I'm going to go in. Let's see. Okay, that's not. I'm going to go in with this shimmer shade right there. All over the lid. And I'm going to wet these. Typically, I wet all my shimmers. Um, I don't... really test much to see if they work with or without being wet. I just always wet them. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. That color is absolutely stunning. Gosh. I mean, absolutely. Gosh, that's pretty. Now, you know what? I'm going to, I am going to go in with this. This, it's a, it's a, a black, but it's not a, it's almost got a green tinge to it. Let me find a very small brush because I just want just a little bit on the very end. So I'm going in with this teeny tiny brush right there. Yes, I do miss him, but I am loving able to, to do this and to catch up on TV shows that I'm typically not watching because I'm trying to pre-film as much as I can and I've pre I pre-filmed enough that I could take some days off, so to speak, and not have to worry about content or filming. I can just enjoy what I have. Now, I think I'm gonna take this yellow. It, it looks matte, but it's also got a, a shimmer into it. I don't know if the shimmer's gonna show up, but I'm gonna see if I can just put a little bit of that between these two colors and marry them a little bit so they don't look quite so stark different. There we go. It's just a little bit, but it kind of softens that edge. Oops. 
This is the completed look. With using the Juvia's Place Nomad. Love this. I really do. Gosh. And I normally don't go for these tones, even the golds. But I like this. All right. I'm going to do the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I have my base on and some concealer. And... Let's get that concealer down with a little bit of powder, shall we? I'm just going in with some Laura Mercier that I already had on my desk. And let's get that powder up there. And I am going to powder the rest of my face. But I, I did use um, the ABH Luminous Foundation. I mixed 140 in and 230 in and came up with this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's see. But the rest of my face definitely needs um, setting down. I am very dry skin, but most foundations I have to um, put a powder over. I slept on my neck wrong for the past two nights and it has not been a pleasant experience, that is for sure. Now, let's do, we wanna do, let's do something on the lower lash line. Let's see, let's go in with, hmm, let's go in with this color and blend it out with these two colors. And let's see what we can come up with. Alrighty, let's see if I can find the right brush. I'll just use this one. And I always just kind of go in halfway. This is kind of how I do my shadows. And now, let me take that brush that I was blending everything out with. This one. And I'm just gonna mix those two colors together. And do that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, thank you, I'm through with you. Let's pop on some blush and bronzer. Oh, for my lips, I've lined my lips with Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Luna. And it's very light, but it's perfect for laying down a a um, little base and I'm going to go in with the Milani which shade is this one I 
can't read it. Passion. Going in with the shade Passion, which these were all the rage last last year. So hard to get your hands on. But I was glad I got this shade because this is one of the most comfortable lipsticks I've used. I would put this lipstick up against my MAC, even my Charlotte Tilbury, and they smell amazing. And last, last on your lips. All right, so we got that. Now let's put on, I've got this Dose of Colors green um, eyeliner. Let's see, does it have a shade? Looks like Baby. Maybe Baby is the name of it. And it's, let's see if I can get it to work. Oh, there we go. Okay. And this is a very deep green. So we're going to try this on the waterline and see. Not really very smooth application. I'm having to go over it, but maybe it just needed warming up. This one, this side's going on a little bit quicker. Okay, that's pretty. Satisfied with that. The blush. I'm going in with some of these Ofra brushes. These are Tarte Ofra. This is a Kylie bronzer, and this is a Makeup Geek blush. But I'm just going to kind of swirl in these Ofra, just all four of them up here. No rhyme or reason. Just yeah, I hope they look the same. Afra has beautiful blushes. And I love blush palettes because you can you can make what you want. You don't have to stick to one blush. You could, I like swirling. And put a little bit here on my five head. Thank you, blush. And for bronzer, I just pulled out my LYS bronzer. I do have a code with them if you want to order it. They will be listed, the code will be listed in the description bar, as always. And I do like this blush. It's not, it is not my favorite, but I do like it. It builds very easy. It's not patchy to me. It's not patchy to me. And... It just, it's kind of one of those effortless as well. I mean, you could swirl your brush around it as much as you want, and you're not, it's not going to put a big blob of wherever you put it at. So, I like the bronzer. I don't use it nearly as, no, nearly as much. And for highlighter, good old... 
and I'm using this because I know that um, Smashbox bought or did something whatever with Becca and they they continued with the um, champagne pop so this was actually a limited edition um, it's got a champagne well, you can't really see it now but it has a champagne bottle in it <clears throat> I guess it was some kind of anniversary for champagne pop I'm assuming but it's always been a really pretty highlighter to me Let's do the inner corner because I saved that. All right, guys, this is it. This is my foul look <laughs> using Juvia, Ofra, I had to think about it for a minute, ABH, Milani, uh, Becca slash Smash, Smashbox, LYS. What else did I use? For concealer, I used the Maybelline Superstay 30 Hour, which let's just stop this brand's, just stop advertising something for 30, 24 hour. Nobody needs to be wearing this mess for longer than X amount of hours. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I do like this. And let me set everything and I'll be good to go. I'm not going to do mascara today because I do have to go somewhere and I do not want my eyes to start watering. So I don't want to give them any reason to. All right, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. How about hit that like, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. Be beautiful. Be kind. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.